Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate all your love and support. And for those who have already subscribed to my channel, welcome back. Uh, it's nice to see you guys and talking to you guys again. And as you know, I'm going to be going out of town. So as you can see from the title below, I want to do what's in my travel bag. I'm actually going to be going out of town for two weeks. So that means that I have to double pack some of my stuff. Usually I don't go that long, but now uh, that I'm going to go and see my grandma and my aunt and my cousins in California, I have to double pack everything. I do want to just stick to my carry-on bag only and not have to bring an extra bag because they do charge extra for extra baggage. And if you do go over, I think, 40 pounds, they start charging you by the pound. So I want to avoid all that as possible. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and bring my huge Louis Vuitton duffel bag here. And... Um, I don't know if I'm going to bring that or my smaller suitcase, but we'll see how much stuff that I'm going to be bringing because right now here in Minnesota, we are negative 7 degrees. So in Minnesota, that's considered the North Pole, and I'm going to California. They got a little snow where they were at, and it was, I think the lowest was 30 degrees. So that is nothing to me. So I'm not going to bring like heavy sweaters or anything like that. Um, I will bring my heavy snowboarding jacket just in case because it does have two layers so I don't have to worry about, you know, bringing another jacket. So I'm just going to bring one jacket and I'm just going to wear that. I'm not going to pack it into my bag. So let's get started. And this bag is so heavy already. I'm just going to push this closer to me. I'm going to go ahead and just start with um, my toiletry or TSA items. Anything that has to be 3 ounce or smaller if you want to bring any type of liquids because they're very strict about that. So here's my first bag of stuff. And... Here's a little close-up. I'll try to go through this as fast as possible. I'm going to go ahead and open this. Let's see. So the first item I'm going to be bringing is my MAC uh, brush cleanser. And it's going to be in this little pink bottle. I'm not going to fill it all the way to the top. I'm just going to do some spot cleaning. Excuse me, you guys. My nose is running. <laughs> So I do apologize. Okay, and then some hairspray. Of course, my toothbrush. I like it how it has a little covering so I don't have to worry about like junk or germs getting on it. Uh, shampoo conditioner. Um, I am in love with the uh, Tresemme. I really don't care what kind of shampoo or conditioner I use. I do go a lot uh, or I go through a lot with shampoo conditioner because my hair is so long. Contact solution because I am blind. I do wear contacts so I have to bring contact solution. Toothpaste. Not really picky about toothpaste. Uh, Lumi moisturizer. This is like a five minute moisturizer uh, for your skin. I do use this for my face and body because um, my skin does get really dry. I do have eczema. So I have to use that because I'm really picky and very sensitive to other um, like lotions and stuff. My Urban Decay All Nighter. I love this because it's small and you could just throw that in there and bring it with you. My Clean and Clear face wash. My Bath and Body Antibacteria, whatever you call it, um, antibacteria thingy wingy. And then my contact, extra pair of contact. These are my favorite contacts that I do wear. These are fresh looks and the color is violet if you're wondering what color contacts am I wearing. Um, I do not just wear this just to look good or to whatever. Uh, I am blind and I am a negative 7.50. I'm super blind. I do need the lipstick surgery. I just haven't had time or have the money to actually do that. So hopefully one day when I get rich, I'll probably do it. 
these are my clear contacts. These are the new um, Oasis, AccuView Oasis. I normally wear these during the day and then the color ones are just for YouTube and uh, whenever I go out. So that's why I have two pairs of that. And that is that for this pouch here. The second pouch is my Japanese makeup traveling bag that I thrifted. If you watched my previous video, that was featured in my previous video. I don't remember what it is, but I'll link it somewhere in the bottom description or somewhere here. So it does have compartments in here. Uh, this is my face and eye compartment here. You flip it over, these are just brushes. I have not uh, put all the brushes I'm gonna bring because I did kinda do a makeup tutorial or how to apply on makeup. I'm not leaving until tomorrow, so I have not put all my makeup brushes that I'm gonna be bringing. And these are just miscellaneous face wipes and other junk. So I'll go ahead and go through some of these. So, so far I have my e.l.f., my favorite e.l.f. foundation brush, which is really dirty, which I have to clean. Um, some Advil in case I have migraines or headaches. And then this compartment here. I like how it has different compartments so I can kind of just like put everything in order. I like to be organized. I'm going to bring my travel size Bella Bamba by Benefit and I'm not sure what the color is. I think that is the name. I got this because um, I do Sephora points, whatever you call it. So this is an awesome um, small travel size blush. Kate Contact Case. Actually, I'm using this as my um, eye primer and concealer. And I don't need that much, so I don't want to bring my big bulky, you know, uh, pink pot and concealer with me. So what I did was I scraped a little bit and put it in this container here. And it does seal, so you don't have to worry about bringing that huge uh, glass container. I'm in between shades. I do get darker in the summertime and I do get lighter in the wintertime because I barely go outside. So I do fluctuate. So I have the Mary Kay one here and I also have the MAC Studio. Uh, this is the MAC Studio Fix. I'm in the color or number NC40 if you're wondering. So I do this like underneath the eyes, around the eyes, and then my nose, and then a little bit of my cheek, and then I go over this just so that it, um, is because this color is quite light on me right now, so I do mix these two colors together. So in case you're wondering, I'm not sure what the color of this is. Uh, I believe it's some, t I think it's like beige or something like that. And my all time favorite is the Smashbox palette and here's all the colors since I do not own any of the naked palette this is as close as I'm gonna get so these are my favorite colors so far this is my color that I'm wearing right now on my eyes if you're wondering I use all of these colors so so far this is my favorite palette right now for eyeshadow I don't care if it's matte or shimmery and then my matte quad that I got like Literally, this I got this like 10 years ago and I still have it. Um, and these are like my favorite colors as well for my brow, my highlighter, and other colors for my eyeshadow. So I'm loving this little palette that you could customize. Like I said, I got it 10 years ago. I don't think they sell them anymore. You could probably find it at the, uh, the outlet or the, 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 the discounted cosmetic store. Um, my... Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I do use as a brightener on my eyes. I'm very fortunate that I don't have really bad um, under eye problems, whatever. My favorite eyelash glue. And my favorite cover girl, mascara. I hardly use mascara. Uh, the only time I use mascara is if I don't wear eyelashes because my eyelashes are very sparse and it's really short, so you can't really tell anyways. I have to put like four to five coats of mascara. So, and then 
um, a Too Faced primer. This is quite dark, but it does blend into my skin. I love it how it's small, so I could just throw it in. My Smashbox a Photo Finish Primer. So it all depends. I kind of switch my primers around. And then um, a lip liner. Ita Italia is the name. I got it from like a dollar store. My favorite um, pencil liner by CoverGirl. You're probably wondering why. How come I'm not wearing the Urban Decay one? Um, actually, I don't like the Urban Decay because I wear contacts and it just gives me a film. And it makes my eye really like... Um, out of focus. Uh, it makes it really blurry because of the, I think whatever's in the ingredient of the Urban Decay, whatever, but my other pink liner, um, and then my Smashbox, Smashbox eyeliner. Um, I do love this color. This is stone. I normally will just do my tight line and my lower um, lash line with this. My all-time favorite fish and Physician formula as my eyeliner, my cat eyes. My favorite because it grows my lashes at the same time. And then my Smashbox uh, lip gloss. It's a travel size, easy to travel with. Okay, so we're done with this compartment. Okay, so everything just kind of fell out. And um, I'm loving these simple wipes, so I'm bringing two of these that I couponed. I'm not bringing the bigger one, and then some Elme eye makeup remover, and then some few lipsticks that I'm in love right now, which is these two Milani. This is in the color uh, 14 Rose Hip. Go, and this one is red label. It reminds me of like the actual light like, liquor red label. Oh, I just love the smell. And then uh, the Sugar Plum Fairy by Wen Wow. If you guys watched my previous video, I did a top five fall lip colors. And so far, this is the, my favorite lip color that I'm wearing today. And my Pickle Plucker. Chapstick. I know you guys are wondering why are you wearing pickle lip a chapstick. I actually got this for free, two of them for free. Um, they were giving this away at my local um, state fair, and I didn't like the smell of it because it's pickled. But when once you apply it on, you don't taste or or smell the pickle anymore. And I'm really liking this, and this actually works. Um, I try EOS Balm, they don't work. I try other lips, other chapstick, it doesn't work. So, so far this is working and I don't care if it smells bad, if it smells like pickle juice. Um, my teasing comb, hopefully TSA will let me bring this because it's, I hopefully they, they don't think I'm going to use it as a weapon or whatever. Some iPad or just sponges remover in case I need to remove my makeup, um, a couple hair clips in case I need to clip my hair to do um, makeup, a hair binder just to put my hair back if I do decide that I want my hair back that day, and a black hair binder. And lastly are the just my brushes here, and they're just like falling out. So I'll just repack that. And my all-time favorite hair curler. This is a one-inch curler by Conair. Um, I have this bad boy for, I think, seven years now. It's still going strong. I'm in love with this Conair thing. It just makes my hair look so beautiful and shiny. Um, I tried other hair curlers, and they just didn't work on my hair, I guess, because my hair is so super straight. So, yeah, I'm already missing the um, the whatever you call it, the, the knob thing that you could click. So yeah, that went missing already, but hey, it still works, so I'm not gonna buy a new one. Um, my glasses, I'm blind. I only wear this at night when I take off my contacts. I don't wear sunglasses. 
Actually, my sunglasses are in my car, but I, I won't be needing it. And then my Louis Vuitton crossbody purse that I am going to be carrying. So it does have the strap. And then my Louis Vuitton wallet. Well, whatever you call it, purse, wallet. I'm going to put my ID and everything in there. Just in case you're wondering. Just ID and then some moolah. Yes, this is a real Louis Vuitton. Um, I got this as a anniversary gift from my husband. Um, it cost him an arm and a leg, in case you're wondering. And I want to show you guys some of the uh, clothing pieces that you could possibly bring that is really lightweight and it's just a good tip. I like to bring anything that is like chiffon, blousey. I don't have to worry about ironing it. So here's an example, something lightweight. All I like to do is just like um, fold it up however you want to fold it up. Um, if you're like a neat freak and like to fold every single corner for me, I don't care. I like just to roll it in a ball and then keep rolling it like a burrito. And then I just stick it into the briefcase or the duffel bag and it just gives you more space and it's lightweight. So that's one good tip. Same thing with this uh, shirt that I'm going to be wearing. It's like a tank top that I can always pair this up with a cardigan. I like to roll it and then keep rolling it until it gets into a ball shape like this. So lightweight and free space. And... I like to bring my black leggings. Um, very light, very easy to pack as well. You just fold it and then you roll it up like a burrito again. And voila, you're good to go. So I tend not to bring jeans. I like to just bring one pair of jeans because um, jeans are heavy and... Uh, you know, you have to lift this up to the overhead uh, compartment and it can get quite heavy and I don't, I just didn't want it to fall on me. So I'm just trying to pack as light as possible. So uh, that is it for what's in my traveling bag. I hope you guys uh, found this video very helpful. If you have any questions or have comments, please let me know below or let me know where you're going for this coming Christmas or holiday. And thanks for watching and Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays to everyone. Take care. Bye.